um, all the hype and stuff, mate, do you use that for motivation for the players or are you just trying to tell them to keep it calm and the one game at a time from them? Yeah, I don't think I need to. I think the players are really excited about the game. Um, they're really keen to be able to play on Anzac Day. We'll touch on it um, pre-game. Um, but no, I don't think I need to touch on it too much. It's an exciting occasion for everyone involved to be able to play on Anzac Day and we're really looking forward to it. Pretty special for the Port Adelaide footy club in particular. Obviously, they're named for the best on ground. Uh, Bob Quinn, um, wonderful name and servant of the Port Adelaide footy club, won a military medal. Yeah, spot on, Zach. Um, I think the significance not only for our football club but for the Sanfu and, and the AFL is, um, yeah, it's a special day on the calendar. And as you mentioned, I think we've had over, you know, 130 people that have served um, from our football club um, have served our country. So to be able to play on Anzac Day is really special. And um, as I mentioned before, we're really excited to be able to get out there on Wednesday. Matt, you weren't there last year, obviously, but did you sense that the boys have been waiting a little while for this one, or is that really? Oh, look, I think the boys will talk about it a little bit, Reese. Um, as I mentioned, you know, Anzac Day is special enough, and to be able to play Sturt on that day in, in the grand final rematch from last year probably does add that little bit of added um, motivation for our guys. But look, uh, we've been really solid in our start so far. Um, obviously, two wins and a draw against the Eagles last weekend, so I think that's enough motivation for the boys. But coming up against Sturt. Uh, going to be really exciting and uh, we expect a really big crowd there as well. What about from a guy like Levi Crowd? Uh, it be an unbelievable experience for someone like him. I would have thought he's come into the side really nicely and played a part in the midfield. Levi's been outstanding for us, um, being a Port Adelaide junior and, and sticking around when a lot of guys left last year. He's got his opportunity this year and he was the Powerade award winner in round one and um, he's been really, really solid for us. So we'll go through selection later today and we'll finalise that. But if, if Levi gets his opportunity, like our other contracted guys and, and our listed guys, um, I know they'll be really excited to play on a pretty significant day. How tricky is the build-up being for you with the contracted guys this week, obviously in between games with the power? Yeah, it's, it's, it's different. Um, playing midweek and the power playing Saturday night and then playing next Saturday, it probably does change our week a little bit. But as I mentioned just before, we'll, we'll um, finalise our side later today. And I know the 21 guys that play for the Magpies on, on Wednesday will come out and have a real red-hot crack. Will you name Pal Pepper tonight in your extended squad or would you have to trim it? And what are the chances do you think if it's resolved that you'll have him on Wednesday? Uh, as I said, we, we'll sit down more this afternoon and go through that. Um, it's probably something I don't really want to comment too, not too much on. Uh, there's a, obviously an investigation going on at the moment that hasn't been finalised. So as soon as that is finalised, I'm sure the club will release a statement on that. How do you see the double blues at the moment? Um, uh, obviously a little bit scratchy in their last outing against North Adelaide, losing at home for the first time in a while. Oh, they're a super side, I think. You know, To be able to win two premierships in a row, um, shows that I think their midfields where they where most of their games have won to be able to have two dominant ruckmen and guys like Kirkwood and Battersby um, playing in your midfield and I think Riley will play this week. Um, they're a super side and we know that we're in for a pretty tough contest on Wednesday. It adds to the Sturt Port legend doesn't it to these sort of battles uh, going head to head as footy clubs? Yeah it does we've got a really important three weeks we obviously had the Eagles last week and and stirred on Anzac Day and then Nord at Nord on Friday night so um, it'll set up a little bit of where we're going and where we're heading as a footy side and and one that we're really excited about.